Hi everyone, it's Crappy Kathy here with Thankful Thursday, where we have a little hop where people scrap about something that they're thankful for. And I'm combining this with the sketch challenge for uh, 49 and Market. I'm gonna be using primarily Vintage Artistry Sunburst with a little bit of um, uh, coastal or beached, beached. So it's an older collection and I don't have a whole lot of pieces of it. So for the vertical line, I'm gonna create it with this, um, well, first with the title and then with this um, film strip, but I also have this bit of packaging that I'm gonna try to slip in there. And I have a couple photos. And I don't have the three vertical photos like they have. Instead, I have two horizontal photos and that's not necessarily the same thing. So let me just, I'm, I'm gonna just start. Um, I tried to quote unquote plan it out and I'm just getting nowhere. So I'm just gonna put things down and once I get them situated, I may be able to tell what I need next. I have lots of rub-ons and some of the laser die cut elements. And I'm not quite sure. I have things in different scales and I'm, I, I'm using the 12 by 12 rub-on sheets and that may be an issue. Um, okay, let me kind of get some of these things. I'll see if anything comes up. Part of that S came up. I'll rub this stuff down. So, I'm gonna see if I want the, how much of the film strip I want to show versus how much gets covered up. And that may determine some of what I, use. Anyway, I have the six by eights in case I decide I really need to go smaller scale. Although that's this title I'm choosing to use the large version of it. There is a smaller version and I could have run it across this way if I'd used that, but I decided to go ahead and use this one because I just love it. Okay, so that is on there. And now I'm going to just lay this down and I'm not gonna worry about I don't want to put it at an angle. I'm going to go ahead and leave it straight. I think I'm going to just add this and this at slight angles and then do the photos kind of
like so. And that leaves, well, let's see. I'm gonna push that up or these down or both. And if I do that, I could maybe do something like this here. And let, let's just see. Let's just see what we've got. Um, I'm gonna, this is part of the packaging. So I'm gonna go ahead and put glue on it so I can kind of move it around a little bit. Likewise with that, I'll put at a different angle And then I've got this kind of up. Oh, I need some foam to raise the edge of it. And I, I printed them uh, on the one side of the paper and they were too dark. So I went back and adjusted the light and got them a little bit lighter. Okay, I'm going to raise that up. And then this one, I'm gonna go ahead, we'll see that. That really covers up a lot of it. Um, so I'm gonna do it like this. And I'll put a little bit of foam down here. This is kind of departing from the sketch quite a lot. And I'm usually pretty comfortable about that but I really wanted to keep with the um, with the the back and forth of the design. Uh, I'm not sure how to put that. The balance, I suppose, is the is the thing I want to keep. I'm going to go ahead and put this here, even though it's going to kind of cover a little bit of the word splash. And I really need to have glue on each of the little sections because they keep wanting to twist and turn on me. Okay, there, and then I'm gonna do another one um, here so that it kind of fills that section of the film strip. And See if that if that works. And I want to use this. Uh, well, 
Okay, first of all, the, the idea that I had was to use these two plumeria kind of right in here. And what I'm going to do is cut off some of the uh, mixed media splatters and put them somewhere else on the page so that this is more easily contained right there. But I kind of wanted, well, you know, I'm just going to have to go for it. And do, I've got a little bit of the splatters overlapping onto the film strip and I, it's not what I wanted, but it may not look bad or I may be able to peel it off really easily. Okay, that is in there, and then I'm going to add these splatters. Okay, that looks kind of cool. I was maybe going to do this guy down here. I really like the blue it, that it kind of picks up on, on that. But I'd also like some yellow down there. So I have these rub-ons that are like color blocks. And I might lay down a yellow one um, before I put that on. Okay, here's the yellow, I'm assuming. And I think what I'm going to do is cut this block that's really a horizontal block, only I'm going to lay it down vertically, kind of like so, and then overlay that on it. Let's see how much of that would even show. I don't, I don't think that's going to do what I want it to do unless I separate these um, and have one here, one here, and one here, and then put this so that they show. Okay. So I'm sure none of you understands what I'm going for here. And the reason I'm so sure of that is because I don't even know. Let me get this. Okay. And then I'm going to do... 
that and if it's not absolutely straight I'm thinking that's going to be okay and I've got the corner coming up on that one okay I got it back down and well, I forgot I have one more to do I'm going to add some more stuff around here but I just don't know what yet I want to see how much visual space this corner takes in the grand scheme of things. Okay, now, oops, okay, let's see. And I'm doubling up, I'm doing rub-ons on top of rub-ons, which is fine. I, uh, I have done that uh, several times in the past and it has worked out okay. I, so I'm hopeful. <laughs> Let's say I'm not totally sure, but I'm hopeful. Some pieces are coming up, but it's not the pieces that are on the rub-ons. Stuff that's on the paper. And I'm trying to keep all the little splatters and splotches because that's Katie Pertit's art. <laughs> and I want to use it all. <laughs> I want to channel my inner Katie Pratit. Whoops, there's a piece right there that didn't come up, so I'm just going to put it down over here. Okay, now, now that I've got that, I kind of want this turtle to be swimming up to me. And that means part of him is gonna have to be over here under the film strip. Can I do this under the film strip and still have it look good? I don't have any more of this physical greenery. I do have this, which I could, I, I was thinking of just adding it here, but it's it kind of comes out too much. So I'm just gonna commit, <laughs> or should be committed, and I'm gonna do this. And then I can maybe do something else there. Let's go ahead and get that done. And can I use this? I had cut this off because I thought it would go there, but I prefer the, the little seahorse. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and put the turtle here and so that means I have to raise this and take the backing off put this over here And for those of you who follow me, you know that turtles are to me as 
ladybugs are to katiebug and alligators are to Allie and baby squirrels are to Ava. I don't use them on all of the lay layouts about me, but since this is about how awesome it makes me feel, young, powerful, fit, all of those things when I'm in the water. I'm invincible when I'm in the water. And my uh, physical therapist took some photos and I'm using, took about 20 of them. I'm using two of them today. See, there's, it looks like you've got the flower in the frame and then the turtle's kind of swimming up under there to, I, I, I like that. I was gonna use this bigger turtle because it's going in a better direction to be out here, but then I, I really like that inside the frame. It kind of holds things back anyway. Okay, let me put this here. And I have um, a couple of butterflies that I may want to work into the composition, but I'm going to bring them in to the photo cluster. Maybe, maybe one here and one here. Okay, so let's get this down. I'm going to turn it this way and we're getting where we're almost finished. I could have fussy cut it in another frame of mind. I could have fussy cut a bunch of these elements and I want the the origin the origin stem there to be uh, underneath, I want it to be hidden. But I, I could have fussy cut some elements and had exactly this. And I actually have some blue leaves that are shaped like the ones there. And I thought about using those, but when I went backwards, it was it it didn't look right with these photos, and I I can't tell you why. I don't have enough. Um, I don't have a good enough artistic vocabulary <laughs> to describe what it is that's wrong, and I have no formal training. I just, it's its like a lot of people say they, they know what they like. And when I tried those in my scenario, I didn't, I didn't like it. And what the point of this is, obviously I'm not in a tropical, um, you know, I'm not on a tropical beach here. This is the uh, pool at the gym where I'm getting physical therapy. <laughs> so it's, it's, but once I get in the water, I'm in a tropical frame of mind and life is, is good. So it's definitely, something that uh, works for me. I'm going to use some foam behind this to kind of lift it up. I'm going to bridge those two photos. And in the original, you've got, you know, these big florals that sit up on top of the leaves. And so... 
the butterflies are kind of standing in for for those and I'm also using butterflies because this hop is um, the brainchild of Sandy Reversky, also known as State Goddess, and she absolutely does not like butterflies. Um, if I could use that there, or even, I think I'll just save this for something else as I will those. Uh, I do not need to use these two things, but I do have this that says this is paradise. And I'm thinking I may put it here. There, that makes it kind of look more um, randomly placed, less uh, perfect, I guess. Um, I want it at an angle and kind of There. Okay. And I have this, which says all good things. I don't know whether to put it at the angle of the photo or parallel with the bottom of the page. I'll just figure it out once I get it on there. I'm going to go bottom of the page and I'm going to have it break that line. And I have these flip flops, which I thought I could maybe use. I'll do this one. straight down, well maybe like so, and then this one will be flat down. Let me try to lift this up. Okay. And that's fair. Again, it's not on a beach, but um, I do wear flip-flops from the dressing room <laughs> into the, the pool. And let's see if there's anything else I need to do here. I will add some journaling, uh, most likely right in this area but I don't want it on there when I take the photos. I love these. I have not used to this, uh, I, I guess even with uh, Spectrum Sherbet and Spectrum Gardenia, I had these kinds of, uh, well, this is Spectrum Sherbet. I've never used these. I hadn't opened the package until this very video and I wasn't quite to be honest I wasn't quite sure how to use them so I think I'm gonna call it quits here um, and 
as I said, the point of this, what I'm thankful for is that I get to feel all the feels when I, um, when I get in water. I get to feel strong and, and, and healthy and fit and um, powerful. And I feel like I can do anything. That has kind of gotten me in trouble because in water aerobics classes, I have uh, been a little bit too exuberant at times and have hurt my back and my shoulder. Hence the upcoming um, procedures with with both of those. So I'm I'm kind of now I get in the water and do physical therapy routines, and I try to go every day. Don't always make it, but um, I think you may be able to tell from this big old smile on my face that um, that I kind of like it in there. And so I'm very thankful that I know that I have access to a place that makes me feel that way. So I thank you for watching and I hope I stayed fairly true to the sketch and I'm, I'm happy with the page anyway. Absolutely love that title. So thank you for watching. Bye.